guys, it's Meg, and I'm here at DK Donuts. I've done so many fun jobs on the Hey Guys, It's Meg show, um, and this is gonna be the last one, and I think it's a really good one to end with because who doesn't love donuts? Um, I've always thought it'd be really, really cool to make a donut. When I was little, I would literally Google how to do it, and I would fail at it. So today, I'm here to see how it is really done. So now it is time to go inside and meet Maylee. Hi. <laughs> I'm Maylee. Nice to meet I'm you. I'm co-owner of Meg. DK's Donuts and Bakery. Um, I hear that you want to make some donuts today. I do. I got you this little hat and apron to get you ready. Thank you so much. This is so cool. Yeah. Does it look good? It looks great. DK's Donuts and Bakery has been open since 1981. So we've been open for 35 years. Whoa. And for all of those 35 years, we've been open 24 hours. Seven days a week. Hours. We've never closed. That's insane. Even through like earthquakes, huh, really? power outages, we're still open and we still have all these delicious donuts. And is it a family business? Yes. So yeah. my parents started it in 1981. Um, I took it over four years ago. If you're ready, I'm going to invite you back to DK's Donuts Special Kitchen and we can get started. I'm so ready. Okay, let's so go. Ready. <laughs> so, how is a donut made? So, you know, first you have to prepare the dough, and okay. that's done right here. This is our Hobart mixer, and mm -hmm. large amounts of dough get prepared, and it goes in here. As you can see here, these are what donuts look like before that they're fried. These donuts are made overnight, but we also have different baking shifts. So we have three different bakers. We bake 20 hours of the 24 hours. So we're constantly preparing and making more and more donuts. So they're like always fresh, basically. Always fresh. That's amazing. So I think the hardest part is that you have to wake up really early because I had to wake up so early just to get here on time to start making donuts. We'll see how that affects my donut making process. This one is yours. <laughs> the first one we're going to make for you today is a Texas-sized donut. That is the best thing I have ever seen. Oh my goodness, I love it. So this donut is huge. It's literally a tire sized donut. And the more I look at it, the bigger it looks and the more excited it makes me to eat it. One, two, three. It floats, it floats. I have to like flip it. So we have these like cool drumstick looking things that we flip the donuts with. And it's kind of hard because the bigger donuts are harder to flip. I've moved the donut from the fryer to the glazing table <laughs> and we're gonna glaze this Texas sized donut together. What they do is they kind of go like this to like kind of shake up the icing. Okay. Wow. And then on the count of three. <gasps> this is so yummy looking. Yeah. I can bathe in this stuff. We just like dump a bunch of frosting glaze on these donuts in this like really, really pretty layer. What? This donut is so happy right now. Today we're gonna have a special opportunity and we're gonna create, this is gonna be called the Meg Donut. The Meg and we're Donut. Gonna, we're gonna take it out there and we're gonna see how well it goes and we're gonna give people samples and see Ooh. if they really like it. Let's do this. Taking the pink first. Okay. So we have so many options for toppings, literally like endless. Purple icing, pink icing, bacon, anything goes. And that part was my favorite because I got to play with color and make it look all pretty. Right, we're going for some toppings here. I'm gonna do the oob, is it called oob crumbs? So oobie crumbs. You know how like when you were a kid you like dreamed it would just be made out of marshmallows? I'm gonna make that dream come true. I'll do the Fruit Loops because they're easier to put on, actually. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then drizzle the, like, what icing? Like a white icing? We can do the white icing. This is absolutely beautiful, and I'm so happy with this turn, how this turned out. Yeah. But I think we're going to move on, and okay. we're going to do a half croissant, half donut. Oh. Yes, and it's another giant one. It's giant size. <laughs> so this is a cronut, right? It's way better than a cronut. It's our family homemade half croissant, half donut Ooh, recipe. So I love it. For this one, I feel like I definitely need to do some sweet and salty type thing. I was suggesting like a maple. Ooh, yes. Yeah. Yes. And bacon. Oh my gosh, that sounds amazing. Mm. Tell me how it is. What does it taste like? No, not even words. <laughs> So is it time for the taste test? We're almost there, but okay. actually I have a surprise for you. I actually made donut letters in the shape of your name. In my name? In your name. Really? Yeah. Look at this. <gasps> what? I am a donut. <laughs> a donut is me. If 
It's like we're having balloons that spell your name, but better. And we got to fry them and literally like decorate them, and it was just so cool. Careful with the G. Ooh. Oh, oh no. no. You have to be very gentle with the G. And then if it if it goes wrong, you have to go through the whole process again. No. Trying to get the letters iced is really hard because you have to be super gentle with them. It's just about focus, being gentle, putting love and care into these donuts. Oh, we have another one that I uh, broke. But you know what? That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. Present to you, Meg, Meg D'Angelo and donuts. donuts. <laughs> Those turned out so cool. This has been so fun. I am ready to find out if people like my Meg Donut. I made a new donut creation. I was wondering if you would like to try it. <laughs> Is it good? Yay! Yeah. You like it? Thank you. We love your dress, by the way. Yeah, and we love your dress. <laughs> Delicious! <laughs> you like it? Okay, if you would rate it one to ten, what would you rate it? A 10? It's a 10? It's a it's 10. 10! So it's kind of a hit. I think people like it. People have described it as, I've heard them say amazing. Um, I heard a, I heard a dream-like in there. I heard a really good, so I feel great. I feel great. I was really proud of the Meg Donut that I created and there is only one slice left, so I think people really liked it and I wanted to share it with you guys. Woo! So cheers to a really cheers. good day of making donuts. Yeah. Yeah. You did so well. Oh, thank you. Oh, crazy how much goes into making one donut. It's a lot of hard work, <laughs> a lot of hours, a lot of planning and preparation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But, but it's worth it. I'm so proud of you, though. So worth it. Look, it's all gone. So I had so much fun trying different jobs over this season. Like, who would have thought I would have been able to do all of that? Each one I learned a lot at. This one I think was a really good one to end on because who doesn't love donuts? Um, but thinking back to like everything I've learned, literally like I hypnotized someone, tried out a practice of SMOED, which is like the best cheerleading team in the world. Like I've done some crazy stuff and it's been so fun and I'm glad that you guys came on this journey with me. Thank you guys so much for watching this season. I really hope you enjoyed watching me try all these different jobs. Make sure you subscribe to Awesomeness TV and to my channel. Bye.